Right now at 6, Governor Jim Justice just took one Highland shopper by surprise with a brand new truck. We'll have her reaction coming up in just a few minutes. But first, big economic opportunities are well underway in the northern panhandle and the state is taking notice. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Steve Moore. The Port of West Virginia has some ambitious expansion plans to bring jobs up to our corner of the state. 7 News reporter Colin Roos reports on how they want to bring about a business boom. West Virginia has a key to post-pandemic prosperity, and it lies directly on the Ohio River. That was the message at today's economic meeting at the Blue Wave Center in Brook County. Empire Diversified Energy is planning some major upgrades to a new dock and wharf in Fallensby, which they think could be a hub for shipping goods all across the Midwest. And they believe that business could bring hundreds of jobs with it. We agree wholeheartedly that um, our project, the Port of West Virginia, could uh, be uh, the epicenter for economic boom in this region. They've raised some private funding for the work already, but they hope to put their plans in motion with some help from the state. That's why Economic Development Secretary Mitch Carmichael paid a visit today to see what they're working on, which includes a pig iron plant, building a seawall, and expanding their solid waste recycling facility. Carmichael says the location couldn't be better. It's just in the perfect region uh, from the perspective of water, river, or river, rail, highway. Uh, the infrastructure is in place. The workforce is here. Empire says the time is ripe for growth in the area, with the cracker plant on the way and the port's easy access to major highways. Just today, Empire touted a barge that's being loaded up at the port to be sent all the way to Egypt. And they say that's just one project among many that would be interested in the port. It's just an example of what other companies can do in West Virginia and Pennsylvania and Ohio. If they like, they could come to the port and we can assist them. No matter which side of the river you're on, all parties agree that the port is downstream of economic success. I think this is, uh, you know, the next several years in northern Panhandle, West Virginia, are going to be exciting for growth and opportunity. Reporting in Fallensby, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thank you, Colin. Empire says once everything is up and running, there could eventually be up to 200 employees at just the Riverside plant. The U.S. Senate could take a test vote on an infrastructure.